amazing metrics, uh, GMV, uh, take rates, total revenue, uh, solutions. I guess the question is, uh, how much should viewers think this is all tied to some of the stimulus checks that have driven all kinds of spending? So let's be clear. Uh, you know, we only succeed at Shopify when our merchants succeed. And I think our latest earnings demonstrate that more people are becoming entrepreneurs more than ever before. And those businesses, they're growing. In 2020, an entrepreneur on Shopify made their very first sale every 28 seconds on average. That's up uh, for, uh, nearly every minute in 2019. So Shopify is really this proxy for modern brands and entrepreneurs, and we now power about 1.7 million of them. And those merchants using Shopify in Q1 sold about $37 billion in the quarter. That's up 114% year on year. And that resulted in Shopify seeing about $988 million uh, in revenue this past quarter, which is about 110% increase year over year. So that means that for every dollar of Shopify's revenue, our merchants are generating about 40. But it's also becoming clear to your point that small businesses are really the rebuilders of this economy. And that's something we're really excited about. And I think we're this rare breed in that we were this wonderful pandemic story. And we're now transitioning to being this global recovery story as countries open up and we see growth continuing. So you're not you're not necessarily trying to uh, uh, communicate or translate to investors the idea that this we might be in the middle of a of a uh, spending boom that we, that we might be in the middle of certainly what the macro strategists argue and that's peak economic growth. Well, if you look at, let's just take Australia and New Zealand, which they're not an exact proxy for the rest of the world, but in those places where things have really opened up, we are not seeing any slowdown in terms of consumers buying from our merchants. And in fact, online GMV in both those countries remain elevated long after the reopening. So uh, we think actually in many ways, the consumer preferences that have shifted through COVID will remain long after COVID, whether that's the fact that consumers want to buy direct from independent brands, they want to vote with their wallets to support brands that they believe in. But that shift, uh, that, that center of gravity and retail moving from brick and mortar to online, that will be permanent long after the pandemic is over. Harley, good morning. Now, I know that at Shopify, you guys have been adding more services, logistics, things to help uh, smaller merchants compete and have choice in the overall marketplace. I'm wondering what you think is going to continue to extend this digital momentum as we recover from the pandemic. Yesterday, we had Adobe CEO on talking about this partnership with FedEx for faster shipping with ShopRunner. Uh, you know, Max Levchin with the firm has talked to us about buy now, pay later. And Shanti, who told us that that's an important increasing trend. Are things like better shipping, better logistics, and buy now, pay later going to help the consumer continue along this uh, digital momentum? Hey, hey, John, thanks again for that question. Look, I think Shopify is really a retail operating system. I think we're best known for e-commerce, but we're the retail operating system behind your favorite brands. And as I mentioned, we succeed when our merchants succeed. So whether it's the fact that Shopify Capital has now given up more than $2 billion of cumulative capital funding to small businesses, or it's SFN or Fulfillment Network, or Shopify Shipping, or Shopify Balance, which we, we think can make uh, dealing with cash management much easier. What we're trying to do at a, at a macro level is reduce the barriers to success for small small businesses all over all over the world. And we're doing that by introducing more and more of these features. The idea is we want to become the world's entrepreneurship company. And to do that, we actually have to help all those pain points get, get reduced. And I think right now, if you talk to the 1.7 million merchants on Shopify, they will tell you that we are the most important piece of software uh, that they're using. That is really important. One other point that's worthwhile pointing out, we wanted to measure what the global economic activity was from the Shopify economy. We call it the Shopify effect. And we actually know, now know that the economic activity across all our merchants uh, on Shopify was about $307 billion last year, which means that globally, Shopify merchants have actually created 3.6 million jobs, which would make them the largest workforce in the world. That's the type of stuff that we're monitoring right now to see what is the effect of democratizing entrepreneurship? What happens if you make small business more accessible?